This is Alin from Javelin testing the new functionality introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2016. This video will demonstrate that you always have to be careful what you wish for because you might get it. The enhancements I'm going to talk about, which is the purge function, has been voted as one of the top 10 ideas at SOLIDWORKS World, but I don't believe that the definition of uh, the functionality for this enhancement has been um, really understood by the users. So. Let me show you the benefits first, and after that I'm going to show you the danger of using the purge function in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Imagine that in this part I would like to move the sketch that defines this cylindrical boss from this plane to this face. So let's do just that. I really love the new bread breadcrumbs and the D key that saves me so much time in bringing this uh, breadcrumbs right next to my cursor. So right now the sketch plane is going to be uh, whatever I want. Th the question is, do I still need the old sketch plane? So in the past I would have to go uh, through the feature, figure out if it has any children using the parent-child relations. 2016 it's even better because uh, each feature has now these arrows pointing to uh, to their children, so the purple ones. So, and obviously, as you can see, the circular plane does not have a child, so you probably could uh, safely delete it. Uh, but imagine this would be a really, really a complex uh, feature tree with lots of features, and I would like to scrub right away all the features that are not being used by other features. So the ones that are like reference geometry and they don't have children. Well, this is what's new. You can right click on the top name, purge unused features, and it identifies that the circular plane is not in use in this part. Uh, if you have multiple configurations, SOLIDWORKS is smart enough to figure out that if this is being used in at least one configuration, it has to be maintained. So let's click OK, and SOLIDWORKS is going to delete the circular plane. All perfect. That's actually what people seem to want. But let's see the danger. Remember that this part has no idea that it might be used somewhere else, maybe in an assembly. Case in hand, let's open up this part. And let's create a plane that's going to be um, let's say um, a certain distance from this face. And uh, let's pick up the plane command, which I have not actually added. OK, let's do it again. So let's create a plane that is offset from this face, uh, maybe quarter inch. Now let's go back to the assembly and let's identify that plane and use it in a mate. So all nice and dandy. What do you think is going to happen if I go to that part? Does it know that this plane is going to be used in an assembly? Well, let's see what the purge command thinks. So I'm going to try to purge and use features. And what do I find out? The plane is not used in this part, and the part thinks it's good. I, it's all OK to get rid of it. Can you imagine what's going to happen now to the assembly? The mate reference is going to fail. The mate is going to fail. The mate reference, the mate reference, di the mate reference disappeared, and the mate is going to fail. So be very, very careful with this purge uh, function. Make sure that everybody in your team understands the danger of using the, the feature itself. And I strongly suggest that if you know that your part is being used in other assemblies, don't use it. So tell everybody in your team as a procedure, don't use the purge functionality in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Thank you.